guys, got another video here for you. Uh, this video, I want to talk about a common problem a lot of archers have. And that's a thing called wrist slap. And if you've ever had it, you know it's painful. There are some things you could do to avoid it. Alright? A lot of times when a hunter has his bow, what they do is they grip the bow like this. They got their knuckles in a vertical position, straight up and down. Okay? A lot of the reason is they want to keep a good grip on that bow. They pay a lot of money for it. They don't want to drop it. What you need to do, the first thing you need to do is get a wrist sling. Just like this. A lot of them, they're coming different. They come in leather, just a leather strap, braided cloth. There's all different kinds out there on the market. Get yourself a wrist sling. Now what you're going to do with that wrist sling, it's going to allow you to change the angle of your grip and not have a death grip on your bow. The heel of your thumb, that's the only part of the handle that your hand should touch. Your palm should not be touching the handle of your bow. It should be just the heel of your thumb. Just like this. That's all you want touching the bow. And You could keep a loose grip. Some shooters use an open hand. Some just wrap around a couple fingers. Some might even use a whole hand, but they keep a loose grip. That's where the wrist sling comes in. You're not going to drop the bow with the wrist sling on your hand. Okay? So when you shoot, look at that, you know, you're not going to drop your bow, but that's the way your hand should look on your bow. Just the heel of your thumb touching the handle on the right. I got the wrist strap there. I'm not going to drop it. But that's what you want. You want to make your knuckles, they're not going to be completely horizontal, but they are going to be at an angle instead of straight up and down. This will make a big difference. If you look at the clearance you're going to get, just by moving that little bit, it's going to open that up. Now, if you do have a wrist guard, okay, don't throw it away. The wrist guard is going to be, you could use that when you're hunting in cold weather. That will help keep your clothing out of the way so that doesn't make contact with your bowstring. But for just shooting in the summertime with short sleeves, if you just change the, the angle of your grip, on your bow. That'll make the big difference and you won't have to deal with the wrist slap or the bruises anymore. Alright.